Don't you hate when a YouTuber is about to reveal something and they make you sit through 10 minutes of just absolute filler content before they get to the point? I got new wheels, here they are. So the new wheels are the 1552 whole shot RSR and I just have to say huge, huge thank you to everybody over at 1552 that made this possible. Um, basically when I posted the first couple pictures of the car on Instagram, they reached out to me and they said, hey, uh, congrats on the new car. We really like what you're doing and we wanna be a part of this project. So uh, I'm just super grateful for this opportunity. And again, thank you to everyone over there that uh, sort of made this happen. I'm really excited to see how these look on the car. I've been a huge fan of 1552 for a long time. I had the uh, Tarmax on my E90, which I loved. I know a lot of you guys weren't a fan of those, but that's okay. But I think these are gonna look sick on the white car. So just a quick overview of these wheels before I throw these on the car. Um, basically when they designed this, they set out to make their version of the perfect mesh wheel and I think they did a really good job. Now these are a flow formed wheel and compared to the stock style 407 wheels that came on this car. These are around four pounds per wheel lighter, which is a nice weight savings. Uh, they've got the inside of the spokes is sort of carved out to save some weight. And then they come with these black anodized center caps. They also sell colored ones that are directional for people that go to the track and use directional tires and you're swapping your wheels out all the time. It just makes sure that you get the right wheel on the right corner. So that's a cool um, accessory that you could add on if you wanted to. Uh, one more design feature that I wanna point out is that uh, this wheel is based on a multi-piece wheel. And uh, a lot of times when companies do that, they'll put like fake plastic rivets around the outside to make it look multi-piece. I like the fact that they omitted those. It just makes the wheel look a lot cleaner. It's easier to clean. And uh, I just prefer that uh, a little bit more. It's still a nod to multi-piece wheels without trying to be like a blatant copy of one. So uh, that's it for the design. Let's throw these on the car. Now, of course, we're gonna be doing a wheel stud conversion as you should do on any BMW. And then for the front to be able to clear the suspension, we are gonna run a spacer up there. And a huge thank you to Keys Motorsports for getting this stuff out to me so quickly. This was like the last thing that I was waiting on to be able to put the wheels on the car. So I've already done a complete lug stud conversion video, so I'm not gonna get too in depth with it here. You guys can go watch that if you wanna find out more. But uh, basically the advantage is twofold. Number one, having an actual stud just makes it a lot easier to take your wheels on and off because it gives you something to actually line up when you're putting your wheels on, you know, just like every other car. I don't know why BMW does it this way. But then also, if you are gonna run a spacer, it just makes sure that you actually have enough thread uh, when you put your wheel on that it's actually gonna be safe. So for example, this is a stock BMW wheel bolt and a 12 millimeter spacer. You can see that if I put this bolt through, I'm already losing half the thread just for the spacer alone, like not even with the wheels. So then if you look at this extended lug stud that Brian sent me, I put that through the same hole. You can see there's still plenty of thread for it to be safe. So I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about running spacers, like whether it's safe or not, but uh, really in my experience, a hub centric spacer, meaning it's got this lip on it and an extended lug stud, this is really the safest way to do it if you are gonna run a spacer on your car. So to install these, it's really simple. You're just gonna do one drop of medium strength Loctite. And then you're gonna to torque that to 25 foot pounds. And boom, just like that, now we can swap out our wheels just as easily as any other car, so that's gonna be nice. And then, Ryan was kind enough to send me both the 10 and the 12 millimeter spacer. Uh, I just know from test fitting the wheels, there was some clearance issues on the inside with the suspension. Uh, but just based on what I read on the forum, a 10 millimeter will give enough uh, clearance, but the 12 will have a little bit more wiggle room, which uh, might be better. So I'm gonna try them both and just see how they look. All right, so the 10 millimeter spacer was a little bit too close for comfort for me as far as the inner clearance. So I ended up using the 12 and it looks just fine. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the rest of the wheels on the car. We'll fast forward to this being done and then we'll see how the car looks as a whole. I keep seeing news stories and like people posting about the heat wave in California and like down south. 
It's like 59 degrees today. Welcome to Michigan. Even after six years on YouTube, I still feel awkward as hell filming myself in public, but I wanted to show you how the wheels look in a spot that's a little bit more scenic than my driveway. All right, so I'll give you guys a little walk around here. Now trust me, it's gonna look a thousand times better when we get coilovers and even better when we get the M Sport body kit, but uh, this is just how it looks for right now. I'll show you some close-ups here so you get an idea of the fitment. The rear fitment is actually perfect without any spacers or anything. Um, they are plus 45 all the way around and on this car, they're like perfectly flush with the body of the car, which is great. Now the front, because we had to use that uh, 12 millimeter spacer to get the clearance, um, it does stick out just a little bit, like you can't see the tread, but you can definitely see the sidewall. Now again, once we get coilovers, we'll be able to add some negative camber in the front, and that should fix that. But other than that, I think that they look great. I love the color, I love the size, and everything is just perfect to me. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. For the tires, I went with the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S, which came highly recommended by a lot of my friends. So far, I really like them. They have plenty of grip and I think it was a good choice for these wheels. They are 255, 35, 19, both the front and the rear. So there's just one small caveat. As of today, you know, September 2020, they don't currently make this wheel in BMW sizes yet. This is like a one-off set for my car. Um, but basically uh, what they're trying to do with this build isn't necessarily to just sell a bunch of these wheels It's more so to see um, how much interest there is from the BMW community for a wheel like this before they commit to a full-scale production run So as of today, they do sell this in the 5x120 bolt pattern um, But the center bore is going to be too small uh, straight out of the box So it's not going to fit onto the hub uh, without a little bit of customization So if you guys want to see these wheels in BMW sizes, be sure to leave a comment down below Let them know that there's interest uh, you can message them on Instagram or just email them directly. Uh, another option, um, if you have to have these wheels today, you just love how they look, uh, you could have the center bore enlarged like any machine shop or wheel repair shop could do that, no problem. It's a very simple procedure, it's not very expensive. So that is an option for you or just you know let them know that you wanna see these in BMW fitments in the future. Well, that's it for this one, guys. I just wanted to show you how the wheels look on the car. I know I've been teasing this on Instagram for a while now, but I was just waiting on things to come in the mail. The tires took way longer than expected, but everything's good now. Big thank you to 1552, of course. Thank you to Brian at Keys Motorsports for sending me the rest of the hardware and look forward to some big, ambitious projects on this car very soon. And then uh, I'm not gonna reveal what's gonna happen to this car just yet, the E90. I still have it, as you can see, um, but I do have a plan for it. Um, I'm not gonna give away the details until everything is all set, but uh, uh, just stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.